Hey there, I was watching a video by Grim Jim called More of Escaping Atheism's Mistake and Lies. There's a, there's a YouTuber named Escaping Atheism. And it just got me thinking a bit. So, first off, a lot of self-proclaimed atheists are actually anti-theists. There's quite a difference between those two things. An anti-theist, whether they say it directly or not, has a strong belief that there is no God. It's a belief. It's not just the lack of belief in a God. It is a belief that there is no God. These are people who, if something incredible happens in front of them, absolutely incredible, they never ever question whether it could be supernatural or something that's not explainable. They immediately say to themselves, this means absolutely nothing. There can only be cause and effect and a rational, logical answer to this. Again, no matter how incredible it is. They never allow themselves to think about other possibilities. They completely limit their scope of thinking. Because after all, there is no God. Then there's all the self-proclaimed atheists, who are also anti-theists, who get upset if you bring up non-anthropomorphic versions of a god. They'll ask, well, why call it a god? That just confuses things. Yeah, it makes it more complex, doesn't it? Aw, oh, poor self-proclaimed atheists. You have to deal with complexities. Poor you. You see, those types of atheists, they're really just anti-anthropomorphic gods, or more specifically, they're anti-Abrahamic religions. And sure, Abrahamic religions are some of what cause most of the problems on this planet. But being anti-Abrahamic religion is not just a lack of a belief in a god or gods. Then there's the issue of morality. Yes, atheists can be moral, but why be moral if you have logic and reason and self-preservation? Yeah, in order to be moral, there has to be a belief. This belief doesn't have to be based on religion, but it does have to be a belief. One has to believe that we should treat each other decently. And if some of it revolves around self-preservation, then one has to believe that in order to have self-preservation, that we need to allow everyone else to have self-preservation as well. But that's still a belief. No matter how you look at it, to have any sense of morality, there has to be a belief. It can't just be based on a lack of a belief. And that's where Atheism Plus started coming into the picture. It was attempting to mix atheism with morality. This, of course, failed miserably because it got just as dogmatic as Abrahamic organized religion. But again, there must be some sort of a belief in order to be an atheist and be moral to be an atheist and have morality. Again, it doesn't have to be based off of a religion or a religious book. It doesn't have to be spiritual in, in nature. If more atheists were to realize they have to have a belief of some sort in order to be moral, there might eventually be a better version of Atheism Plus that could arrive from this, but people don't want to do that. And that's one of the reasons why so many atheists on social media platforms, like this one, can be some of the most downright mean people out there. Because why have morals, right? I mean, you can't possibly make a claim and have any validity that humans, just left to their own devices, will treat each other decently automatically, without any sense of morality being in their minds. Sure, you can claim that it's rational to believe that if you treat others decently, that it's more likely that other people will treat you decently, but that's still a belief. Again, a belief doesn't have to come from a religious book, but it has to come from somewhere, even if it just comes from your own thoughts. And it is this very sort of thing that has some people moving away from atheism. What are you going to do about it?